What's up guys, I'm Tom FC Evan and welcome to a brand new Transfer Talk video on my channel and this time we are talking about Gary McAllister becoming Liverpool's first team coach it was, it was reported and confirmed yesterday and we have talked about the possibility of a former Liverpool player or Liverpool legend becoming a first team coach I wanted this and many other Liverpool fans wanted this as well and I'm so happy that Gary McAllister became becomes a first team coach because I, I remember him uh, I started supporting Liverpool in 2000 and he had a brilliant season in, uh, in when he signed in the summer he signed for Co from Coventry uh, if I remember correctly, for a free, he was a free transfer, 35 year old free transfer, so he raised a few eyebrows when he moved into, into Liverpool, but he won five trophies in two seasons. He won the mini treble in his first season and he was instrumental. He scored the winning penalty uh, in the UEFA Cup semi-final against Barcelona at Anfield. We played the nearly a draw in the no camp and then we won 1-0 one at Anfield. Let me know guys, what do you think about this appointment in the comments below? Are you as excited as me about uh, Gary Mecca be be becoming first team coach of Liverpool FC? He is one of my childhood heroes, you know. He was one of my favorite players and he, he taught so many things for, to Steven Gerrard. Steven Gerrard um, so many times praised him. And has said that in his career, Gary Mack uh, was influential, McAllister, and he, he, Gerard was just a teenager back then, and uh, Gary McAllister taught him so many things, and uh, yeah, he scored that legendary 44-yard free kick in a 4-3 derby win against Everton in, at Goodison Park. I still get goosebumps every time I I uh, remember that goal. And uh, also he, he had a five game goal scoring streak when uh, at, the be at the end of the season where he f helped uh, fire Liverpool back into the Champions League and he also he came on in the FA Cup final where we turned it around with Michael Owens two late goals to beat Arsenal and he had a great uh, influence on the game. And all round, he, he just became a, a Liverpool legend in just two seasons because of his uh, heroics and also he popped up with so many very important goals in vital games and he bossed the midfield and and he's a very good coach as well. He, he, he was manager um, after he retired and also he, he was a first team coach at Aston Villa, at, at Leeds United, at Coventry as well. And, uh, and yeah, uh, Roger said that uh, McAllister Gary has a special connection with his club, with his club and its supporters, and I'm delighted he's joining our team as a first team coach. And when I met him, I was struck by his passion, his enthusiasm, his knowledge for what we are looking to achieve here, and he has experience coaching at the highest level. Yeah, he was uh, a coach at Aston Villa in the Premier League before, so he's no rookie to to coaching. And McAllister says. Uh, I'm delighted, uh, I'm really excited about the prospect of coming back, it's fantastic, I'm really looking forward to it. I feel as if I owe Liverpool getting that opportunity at the last stage of my career at 35 and winning so many trophies in just two seasons. He scored 9 goals in 87 appearances and um, yeah, he managed uh, Coventry City and Leeds United before b becoming a coach at Middlesbrough and Aston Villa in the Premier League. Uh, he hasn't co been a coach since 2011, but I think uh, that's that's not really a disadvantage uh, because you know I think he he still was a keen observer of the game and he he knows he knows what it's like to play for Liverpool. He knows what the fans expect. He knows what it's like to win trophies, and not many players know that feeling. Not many players know that at Liverpool right now. So it was important to bring back. A former uh, Liverpool player, I have been saying this all along, especially when the news broke that Mike Marsh and Colin Pascoe, the two assistant coaches, were fired. I wanted a former Liverpool player at uh, in the backroom staff, and now we got it uh, just before the preseason tour begins. So now everything is in place. I'm really excited about the new season. Really looking forward to it. I think um, Gary Mack says this is similar. I feel the same as I did with uh, with 
when I signed for Liverpool. It was a surprise phone call back then, and it was a surprise phone call right now as well. A right place at the right time um, was uh, his Liverpool transfer, he says, and uh, he just hopes he, it repeats itself. It, he says, a lot of hard work and dedication, everything is there. Liverpool is a club where you can win, win, win things, that's a fact. And that's true if the players are good enough, but also if the management are good enough. And uh, I'm now much more op optimistic about the new season than, of course, b b than I was when we finished last season with that terrible... Don't even mention it, don't even mention Stoke. Oh my god, just let's just forget about last season because we have a new hope now. And I, I'm really hoping that we will make uh, two or three big, more big signings with a, with a striker, defensive midfielder and the backup left back coming in. Those are the three positions I think that need strengthening still. Let me know guys what do you think about this appointment and are you excited about Liverpool's new season? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you later guys. Goodbye.